Welcome to the Bow Show. You tuned in to the greatest outdoor show out of North Carolina. We're down here in Eastern North Carolina running rabbit dogs. I brought two of my dogs out. I got Rocky, my old male dog, and my uh, he's a Branco bloodline dog, and I got a cross pup out of him to I believe some Oak Hill blood dog come out of Tennessee. That's Debo right there. So we're gonna go out here and have some fun with the guys. Woke up, said we're gonna put some numbers in the sky. We got Pino. What? What? Everybody call you Jojo for some reason. Why they call you that? that that's, that's my name. That's Jojo. That's your nickname. So you got like you about like me. You got ten nicknames. Yeah, you got Evan. And you gotta get that man right there in the red shirt. Hey, hey, look, read the shirt. What was going on today? Can't get gone. My dog gone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they gone on a deer. You better be they careful. Yeah, I'll be like out. <laughs> nah, I keep it rolling. You see that blanket cross first? Now don't cut it off for the rest of the day. Run that bitch to the battery with this. <laughs> I hope they cut it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Smart, man. Great, how about yourself? Fresh rabbit in here? Me. Yes. <laughs> Come on, here, Debo. Come on, son. Good boy. Rocky coming out of nowhere. He about to <laughs> got my cross the motherfucker hat on today, boy. What happened? There go Rocky. Go get that cross. Go get the cross. Go get the cross. There go Rocky.
get that shit, get that, get that on camera. Boy, if that dog take that rabbit with the vest on, it's hell. It's hell. If that dog take that rabbit and find it, all these dogs will come out here. We're going home. We're going home. They're all the dogs caught this. Hey, I want you to put a reverse on that hat dog walking in the field. And he going down the side of the edge of that field now. He going out of there. He going out of seeing business. All these dogs looking for the rabbit out here. He... Oh. 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 Hey, he took him in the right direction, though. That dog going around the corner, man. He lying to you. Yeah, I'm about to say. Your dog might have just shown some hate or something. He might have just said, hey, 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 don't do me like that. See a rabbit if it's here. That's Dubo. That's how I swear that sound like that little puppy. Yeah, that ain't the pup. Did the puppy just? Yeah, that was the puppy coming through there. You. Man, I gotta, I gotta get better with it though. The next, next one's gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm about nailed it on the head now. Take credit for his dog. Susie, come here. Dog over there. That's the boat show shit. What is he doing though? He must be running one by himself. I've been hearing that all morning. I want to see something. Well, we got to go that way. I'm doing this like the SBO try. Huh? I'm gonna run a rabbit. Where you been right now? I don't know why you bring him out here. I'm out of the bean field. <laughs> Ain't nothing in the bean field, baby rabbit. I swear. Come on, they did all that calling. You don't know what the hell they were talking about. They playing that bullshit on you. Man, you like to talk, they don't talk that much. Go up here and get Antoine to shake your hand. Tell him he crossed the man. Look him in the eyes when he crossed him. Take his hand, look him in the eye. All right, son. Dogs in there. Dogs in there. That one dog's been in there moving that rabbit the whole time. Then I bring the dog across the field. We just apply pressure. He ain't been applying pressure. Okay. I, he won't. He won't stroke him by himself, but was he running? He won't run him out there by himself. That ain't the dog. Now he won't give him credit. Stop. I give him credit when I see him run the rabbit. Put it that way. All right. I gave him a chance before I cancel him out. I like, I like your type of judgment. I ain't seen him on no game. I gotta see him on game. Fair or what? Huh? Fair? That's fair. That's fair as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we about to see, because that's a rabbit. Huh? You hear that? Ooh! Ooh! That dog had been running down that hole. He just, he, just he just caught up with the pack. Oh, man. He was down there running by himself. Won't nobody bark. About 10 minutes. He's down there by himself. Y'all come on. Tell him though. Tell him that we had to come up here and get our own dogs. I mean, our own rabbit boy. Uh, heavyweight kennels and, and Antoine. I don't know what they were back there doing. So we had to come get our own rabbit boy. What's up, 
What's your kennel name? Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek kennel. Well, mine is Cypress Creek Beagle. Beagle. Platinum, sir. 
Hello, Mr. Peanut. How are you doing? I'm <laughs> doing good, Miss Zoe. <laughs> so, what's, what's your kennel name? Heavyweight Kennels. Heavyweight Kennels. How long y'all been out here today? Uh, it's about 6.30. Okay. What made y'all come out today? Mm, got a few field trials coming up. Trying to get them in shape. Trying to keep them in shape. That's about it. Have a little fun. Talk a little junk. <laughs> okay. What's your bloodline that you run or what's your favorite bloodline? Uh, I got a little bit of everything. <laughs> I got um, some Zeb, Branko. Ah, some switchy gear stuff. I, um, I seem like like the, like the Branko and the stuff a lot. Okay, so why don't you have just one bloodline throughout your whole pack? Like, what's the benefit of having different bloodlines? Uh, well, I don't know if I can answer that correctly, but everybody's different. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people like one bloodline, stick to that. But I like a variety a lot. I'm just been in the beagles like four years, so. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what I want, really. What were you in before beagles? Um, I was rabbit hunting and had deer dogs, so mm -hmm. I've been deer hunting. I've been rabbit hunting before I had uh, beagles, but I just got beagles like four years ago. Okay, okay. What made you get your dogs? Uh, I just wanted my own and, you know, had a little more time on hand, so I wanted to um, get my own stuff. Right. Do you, do you still have deer dogs? Yeah, I still got, got eight. Eight deer dogs. Oh, yeah. What type of bloodline is that? Can you get him out the camera, please? <laughs> please put that up. The tab is here. Oh, um, you know? Yeah. Oh man. Tell the truth. I'm not big into I'm not big into the papers with the ditto. I don't want to do I'm not I don't fought child in that, so but I got some um I got some stuff from um got named Steven Edens over mm -hmm. in uh, Hampstead. He pretty big in it. Yeah. And um, my man right here, he gonna send me some good dude also. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's not my, that's not my fourth <laughs> dude also. So how long have you been hunting? Oh uh, man, so I was like, um, sorry, when I was like 12, 13. Wow. 30 some years, yeah. Who taught you? My brother. Brother and uh, this guy in the neighborhood, Dusty Buck. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Uh, Carter Hayes. Started hunting with him with my brother. He got into it. My daddy, he didn't really hunt. Yeah. My granddaddy did, but I was too young to remember them. Yeah. So it's in my blood, but family always ate wild meat, so. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All thank right. you for that interview. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta get, you gotta get me ready for You first. gotta get them on camera because you're the first person that done crossed the bow show on the bow show, live and direct. He was in there. Come back out. Yeah, yeah, bought the rabbit out. The white dog. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, that, way though. Man, that dog I just put up in the truck was over there stroking him for about five oh, minutes by itself. Before his dogs come across the street. Get, let him know who he is. Hello, how are you doing? Doing good. So what's your name? Evan Andrews. Evan Andrews. So, Mr. Evan, we met you at the benefit hunt, correct? Correct. All right, so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it since I was 11. Uh, I had my first pack of dogs when I was 11, and actually, if I remember correct, if the math is right, mm -hmm. uh, the litter that I had, the oldest dog I was really like eight years old, I think, right now. Yeah. Years, so uh, wow. I still have her and hunt her right now. So. Oh my goodness. So, what got you into it? Like, um, I went with a friend of mine one time, and I kind of got hooked ever since, back when I was little. Mm -hmm. and I, that was probably my favorite out of all of the hunting seasons. And I just wanted my own dogs, and the next year I got my own dogs and started from there. Okay, so what did you start? What was your first game that you killed? Um, it was a deer. I was four years old. I killed my first deer. What? 22 cricket. Oh my goodness, that's oh. amazing. So, did who who did you kill the deer with? My father. Your my, father. My father my, on my dad's side, we're big dog people. They do a lot of deer hunting and stuff like that. So, okay. probably about fifth, fifth or sixth generation dog hunter. 
Really? So what makes y'all like dogs so much? Like what's the difference in your opinion, your opinion? Um, I think it's just bloodline really. Just like, I mean, the dogs, you know, you have certain bloodlines, mm -hmm. um, but I guess back in the day, you know, a long time ago, they hunted for food and it's just something we've done ever since. So. Wow. So also I hear that you do sports. Oh yeah. So do you feel like you being out here in the woods and you putting time in with your dogs made you strong minded when it came to sports or? Yes. Um, I think yeah. it taught me to have a little more patience too. Mm. Um, you gotta be very patient, especially with younger dogs. It'll, it'll kind of get aggravating sometimes, but um, yeah. And uh, I don't know, it just takes me to be more well-rounded. You know, I gotta wake up early for this just like I do anything else. So. Yeah. And then go to practice in the afternoon. Wow. So right now, right now, you hunt well. You're training your dogs, getting ready for the hunting season, and you're able to maintain sports. Yeah, correct. Wow, that's amazing. And school, don't forget school. And school, school. and school. That's a blessing. What do you want to do? Like, what do you? What is your future dreams or goals? Like, um. Well, I want first thing I want to get is, is play ball for uh, for a four-year school which is a university okay um football that's my main sport yeah and uh try to get my master's degree okay and uh i guess from there i don't know really wow <laughs> for yet. so you definitely definitely man that's great that's awesome that you have such high goals for where you want to go and not even like people don't understand of you being out here hunting and like you, you've taken some skills from that and applied it to real life. And it also has motivated you to want more, to be more and yeah. to have more. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to the boat show. Say my name, also. We're going to catch some dogs and a calf high. Different type of rabbit hunting down here in Eastern North Carolina. Trying to get in where I fit in. You got half fast dogs, man. Dogs that went out 500 yards. Ain't nobody walking to them. Antoine. Antoine, 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 Antoine. Seen it on the bush. No wonder I couldn't drive down here. I'd have been scared to drive my truck. Oh, there go the puppy. There go Debo. Debo down here holding his weight. Rocky's out of shape. Debo's holding his weight. They crazy, Debo. Get out of the way. Come here, pup. You did anything with that red suit? What happened, man? The old eight dog doing that fucking barking. All the barking. Up here on this end. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There ain't want nobody up here running no, no rabbit, no nothing. All these dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. He keeping up with the pack. He can't break his spirit. I can't pop him for. Oh, 10 months. You got to break his spirit. You got to grab your little nose on the wrong. Yeah, you got to do it. Before he gets too old. Bust it. Where is it? Who's that? Ah, he said, who is that? He said, what the dog needs. Who is that? Gonna embarrass them. They left the good stuff at the house. Get in that D boat. <laughs> 